guys welcome to the end of the covers channel this is Suzanne if you haven't subscribed do make sure you hit the subscribe button you don't want to miss out on any of our amazing content so today I want to talk about a bit of a more serious subject and that is misconceptions about the romance genre so when I was thinking and planning this video I was like it's just gonna be a rant I'm just gonna be ranting at people but I don't really want this to be a rant because a rant implies it's gonna be kind of some mindless rage filled diatribe and that's not what I want instead I want like a full full discussions about what the misconceptions are within the romance genre and often it isn't people just outside the romance genre that like to have a go at it but people who read it as well there's always seems to be this sense of shame that I would really love to get to the bottom of. I just really want to see a way past everyone, romance reader or non-romance reader, buying in to that really false stereotype of what a romance reader is. So we put something out on social media to see what people thought the misconceptions about the romance genre were and thank you so much we had such a great response. And one of the most common things that we had back was that people thought of it as smart or the phrase that really, really annoys me, which is mummy porn. So mummy porn, oh, I just, I really hate that phrase. So let's break this down. So porn, something that is really mechanical, it's just there for a physical release without any thought behind any of the emotion and connection that you will find in a romance novel. So that is completely swiped aside within that phrase, mummy porn. There's also the implication of shame. So porn is something that most people are ashamed of. Maybe I'm being really mean to like the adult porn industry but there's that phrase of like watching your computer histories that so people don't know that you're watching it and calling romance no novels mummy porn kind of has that same implications you need to hide what you're reading because it's shameful and you don't want anyone to see because it's just all sex there's, n there's nothing else it's just very mechanical there's no emotion there's no connection there's no depth it's just insert point a into hole b and that is it when if you have read any of the romance genre you know that is just not how it is and then there's the first half of the phrase mummy implying that there's only one type of person that reads this book and I guess they're implying that it's just middle-aged women when really romance is so inclusive it's not just women who read romance novels and it's not just middle-aged women who read romance novels young old everything in between from any background you'll find that there is a romance reader in there somewhere but maybe there is something about romance novels that maybe does speak to women more than men in a romance novel women have a lot of agency both in their sexuality in their feelings they can express it without shame in a romance novel and there is something very empowering about that as you read it so when i hear somebody calling a romance novel mummy porn it just strips away all of that really great feminist stuff it strips away the emotional depth which you can find in a romance novel and it takes away the diversity which may not be perfect but it does try and make and has made great strides recently within that area so i really hate that phrase mummy porn it needs to be shot dead and buried and never used again and the same for smut so smut i think has different implications and also implies something which was heavily commented on when we went out to social media and that was romance novels are all just sex that's all it is and granted there are some romance novels which are a lot of sex but to judge a whole genre by a small portion it seems really really dumb if i'm honest um so a lot of romance novels do have sex in it because it is an important part of a romantic relationship. So of course it should be featured and of course that it should show a woman enjoying sex. Otherwise, why would we bother doing it? But distilling it down and just calling it smart is not the answer. There is so much more that you are missing out on if all you think about of romance novels is that they are just a series of sex scenes. So many great authors do so much absolutely masterful work building up the characters, building up their relationship, um, 
really building up that tension that may or may not lead towards sex, dismissing it all and just calling it sex would dismiss a whole world of creativity and insight. So, smart, also a phrase that I cannot stand. And then there is the accusation that romance isn't smart and that kind of takes on two prongs. The first is the readers aren't smart, they're naive, they can't distinguish between reality and fantasy, they put undue expectations on their life partners because they are those fanciful romance readers. I just can't even with that, it's just so ridiculous that um, we're reading some romance novels therefore we cannot distinguish between real people and the heroes and heroines in our books. It just seems so patently ridiculous when you say it out loud, it's just not true, we are not that naive. But I guess at some points modelling a relationship that you see in a romance book, is that so bad? You can expect re respect, you can expect both emotional and sexual fulfillment and really is that not the basics of any kind of romantic relationship we don't really need the guy with the ripped body and the great hair and the perfectly sculpted face it's so much less about appearance it's so much more about how that other person compliments you and makes your life better so maybe these unrealistic expectations aren't so bad after all so the second prong is that romance isn't smart and therefore the authors aren't smart that it's just sex it doesn't need to be original it doesn't need to have good characters you just throw together some sex scenes and bam you are done is anyone else rolling their eyes at how ridiculous that statement is? I mean, we've all read some bad romance novels, but we've also read some fantastic ones. And although I'm not a romance author, I know that it takes more than just tapping away at word to create something that will touch the hearts and minds of a reader. To say that it's really easy because it's romance is absolutely ridiculous. Dealing with the intricacies of characters' hearts and mind strikes me as quite complicated and something that you want to get right. And it's also just, I imagine, personally insulting to think that all romance authors are in some way stupid when we all know that is just not the case. Romance novels quite often offer more than just the romance. There is a social commentary. The romance genre is so reactive to current day issues. If you look at romance novels now and romance 10 years ago, it is so different. If you look at other genres, that's not really quite the case. They don't change and evolve to reflect modern society as much as a current day, as much as the romance genre does. It's also, I've said this previously but it's also inclusive the world knows there's a diversity problem and although the romance genre isn't perfect by any means does it that doesn't mean to say that it isn't making great strides to try and be more inclusive can other genres say that probably not so i just think that romance authors are doing great work to say that they are not intelligent that it's easy is just it's just kind of silly and stupid in of itself. So guys, you may notice the slight costume change and that is because when I was recording that video, I didn't realise until I went into editing that for some reason my camera had switched off towards the end of the video. Luckily, it was just right towards the end. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing my thoughts on the misconceptions around the romance genre. It's something I feel quite passionately about, so in some places I was definitely not as coherent as I would have liked to have been, but there you go, it's a window directly into my mind. So if you've liked what you said, if you disagree with anything that I've said, please let me know in the comments. Like I said, I would love for this to be an open discussion about what we think the misconceptions of the romance genre are. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to check out the blog under the covers bookblog.com or follow us on social media, stalk us, we love it. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. You do not want to miss out on any of our fantastic comment. Anyway, thanks again for listening and I will see you in the next video.